building the first LNG plant in the Southern Hemisphere to the world's largest not normally crewed offshore platform, Woodside has long been a leader in applying the latest oil and gas technology. Now we're taking the industry to new frontiers by adopting and developing innovations that build on our strengths yet challenge our thinking. Recently, Woodside identified an opportunity to improve the efficiency, flexibility and safety of our major offshore maintenance campaigns by making use of walk-to-work technology. The concept involves the use of a vessel equipped with a motion-compensated gangway able to connect to an offshore facility, allowing workers to safely transit between the two whilst overcoming accommodation restrictions on the platforms. To get things rolling for the Walk to Work project, we really needed to understand from the turnaround team what exactly they needed. Scope, duration, number of people, and what sort of opportunities we had to value add in terms of what the vessel can do. We searched around the world for partners we could work with to take the project from the drawing board and turn it into reality. Our search eventually led to the Netherlands, home to several companies operating at the cutting edge of Walk to Work technology. Having done a high level screen of the market, we decided that the opportunity was potentially viable, but we needed to go out to tender. We needed to recognise that fundamentally, we weren't experts in walk to work. MMA Offshore was awarded the contract, not only for its ability to couple quality offshore vessels with technical marine expertise and strategically located onshore facilities, but also its past experience and track record with walk to work technology. We've done a few of these things around the world, so we were fairly keen to, to get involved in this. We spent a lot of time on getting the right technical solution, which is basically the gangway system plus the boat. From the outset, a key focus was ensuring all those involved in the project were aligned and working together. Woodside collaborated closely with contractors and subcontractors. Everyone understood they were walking this journey together with Woodside and had its full support for every challenge or issue faced we would all succeed or fail together in a critical one-shot project like Walk to Work. Mapping contractor values on the Woodside Compass was critical to blueprinting how we would achieve the what. The Safeway Gangway actually originated in the Netherlands, which had to be mobilised all the way on a heavy lift ship down to uh, Singapore. The vessel, the MMA Pinnacle, started in Malaysia and had to be mobilised down to Singapore as well, where we were looking to bring the whole package together. This project was unique in terms of the height of the gangway and matching it to the right boat, with the right level of accommodation, with a really good dynamic positioning system, we were able to do things other marine companies can't do. Once the MMA Pinnacle had arrived at Jurong Port in Singapore, the next step of the project was to install a 58 tonne, 7.5 metre pedestal serving as the interface for the gangway. With the pedestal in place, the gangway was installed, allowing access from the vessel to the Pluto Alpha platform, sitting nearly 30 metres above the water. A rigorous process of approvals, assurance and inspections was undertaken as the vessel was prepared for sail away and the execute phase of the project. With the gangway successfully installed, the MMA Pinnacle arrived at the King Bay Supply Base in Dampier, Western Australia, where personnel and maintenance equipment were loaded onto the vessel before departure for the field. So the Safeway Gangway really gives us access to offshore platforms when uh, other means might not be able to give us 24 hours a day. It gives us access to go into turnarounds, gives us access to platforms to allow extra personnel to come out. It's the ultimate possibilities for all the future. Described as a new generation of motion compensated gangway systems and incorporating some of the very latest innovations in technology for personnel transfer from vessels to offshore facilities, the Safeway Gangway can connect to a broad range of offshore installations with a very high degree of workability. The use of walk to work technology was necessitated by two major turnarounds on Woodside, Pluto Alpha in April and May and also the Rankin turnaround later in September of 2019. We've got a bedding bus situation essentially where the scope of work required to be delivered in a certain amount of time exceeds the physical number of hours that the people on the platform can work. That opens the door to use a vessel in field connecting to the platform twice a day and essentially providing accommodation for those people. In essence, that's all Walk to Work actually is, eliminating the need for helicopter transfers. Designed with distinctive technologies such as its roll compensating mast, a zero impact bumpering mode and a vertical elevation option, the Safeway Gangway is a game changer in the offshore industry. 
This Walk to Work Vessel project uh, is quite unique to a lot of the other projects we worked on. A couple of factors there, it's a first of its kind as we understand in Australia. So whenever you work with first of a kind, it brings a lot of challenges to it and also great satisfaction when you deliver. Overall the project's gone very, very well. We've managed to meet all expectations and we've ended up with no HSE accidents and no incidents. So the Walk to Work project this year has been a proof of concept for Woodside. Does it unlock value for us? Does it work for our organisation? And the answer resoundingly is yes. Now we need to take the lessons we've learned from the Pluto turnaround scope and roll them into future Walk to Work scopes. Already the conversations have started for our turnaround maintenance offshore in 2020 and beyond, and we think there's some real capability to unlock value there.